resting place of many of our country's heroes and countless men and women who served their country with honor. On behalf of the United States Army, the All Veterans Honor Guard, and American Legion Post 161 in Arvada, it is our distinct honor to be part of Jim's final ceremony. There's a common bond that exists between those who served in the military in the past, those now serving, and those who will serve in the future. This bond knits us together throughout our lives and does not unravel with death, but will continue on. When the call of our country was heard, Jim answered, self was forgotten in the cause of a greater good. Imbued by a spirit of devotion and love of his native land, Jim left his home to serve his country. He went forth with other comrades in arms to preserve our heritage of freedom. He is now enrolled in that great spirit army whose footfalls cause no sound. In our memory, their souls go marching on. Proudly, we remember their service. Because of them, our lives are free. Because of them, our nation lives. Because of them, the world is blessed. May the ceremonies of today deepen our reverence for our departed comrade and friend. The chaplain will dedicate a prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Supreme Commander of us all, hear now the sorrows of those who mourn. Touch their tired hearts with healing. Keep clean and bright. In memory of the splendid flame that has now flickered out, and shelter us with your compassion. Surely there is an afterlife while I've been loyal and true. A life to which light and peace shall come, where the burden shall be lifted and the heartache shall cease, where the love, the hope, and the fulfillment that escaped us here shall be given to us to be ours forever. Father, we entrust our brother to your mercy. You loved him greatly in this life. Now that he is freed from all cares, give him happiness and peace forever. Amen. This flag represents the service our comrade has given for his country. The red of our country symbol is made redder yet by his patriotism. The white more stainlessly pure by the motives that impelled his service. And in the starry field of our nation's banner, the blue has been glorified by the service given for American ideals. May its clustered stars and streaming light guide the immortal soul of our comrade through eternity. I'd like to prepare you now for the firing of the rifles, followed by the playing of taps. The rifle fire can be quite loud and startling. In honor of Jim's service to a grateful nation, if you're comfortable, I would ask that you stand and place your right hand over your heart. If you are military or a veteran, rendering a hand salute is also quite permissible. Please stand. Commander of the Rifle Squad, render it the final honor. And salute.
President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. So proud that you joined them today. May God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for coming. And may God bless our fallen comrades. This completes the military portion of today's service. What follows is a tolling of a bell in honor of the service given to a grateful nation. Thank you for coming. God bless you all. Thank you. Please stand and face to your left. God bless you. Thank you. Call the bell.